In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. We come to celebrate the Eucharist, which is traditionally called food for the journey. Food for the journey. In fact, many Catholics think that the last rites is anointing, but it's not. The last rites is communion. Unfortunately, most people, when they're dying, can't celebrate it, but it's communion because it's food for this last part of the journey, the journey from this life to the next life. But every Eucharist for us is food for the journey. We're all on a journey. Um, someone is beginning, Deborah's beginning a journey, uh, a pilgrimage journey to the shrine of St. John of Compostela, walking the Camino. It's also journeys interrupted. There's somebody among us who was supposed to be in Lourdes today, but her plans had to change because, uh, because of her sister's illness. Um, but no matter where we are, we are on a journey. And here we are at the beginning of this pilgrimage season at Lourdes, and typically it's raining, um, so we're not at the grotto. Uh, but we're here, and we come to celebrate this food for the journey who is the presence of Jesus. So let's call upon his mercy and his compassion. Lord Jesus, you walk with us through life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you show us the way to abundant life. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us from darkness to light. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as, I didn't practice, <laughs> okay, Phoenicia, <laughs> Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Syrians among them However, they came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encourage them all to remain faithful to the Lord in the firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarras to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him back to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. 
I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Fistidia, Tyra, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born here, there. And all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. So while she's standing on her balcony, Juliet poses the question, what's in a name? And what she discovers in the rest of the play, the answer is a great deal. A great deal is in a name. Names mean a lot. This passage from the Acts of the Apostles ends by just kind of mentioning in passing that uh, this group of disciples are first called Christians in Antioch and this is a moment where um, the Christian community is also on a journey also on a, a pilgrimage as they grow first of all it started with this very small group of Jews from Judea Jews from Galilee and then it began to expand to include not only Aramaic-speaking Jews, but also Greek-speaking Jews, which in a sense was a stretch because the, the Jews from Judea didn't think the Greek-speaking Jews were all that hot anyway, and so they had to really stretch themselves to accept them in. And then even more so, at this point, they're beginning to accept people who are not Jews at all, who are Greek-speaking, and that is a huge stretch for them. They have to change their notions of boundaries and borders. They have to put aside their prejudices so that now they can journey with a very diverse group of people, but who are joined together in a belief, in a belief that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the Messiah, the anointed one, the one sent by God. 
That's why they begin to be called Christians and not Jesusites, because to be called a Christian is an acclamation of faith. It's to say that you believe that this person, Jesus, is the Holy One of God, the one sent to redeem us. And so we who bear the name Christian today, um, well, it's good for to be reminded <clears throat> that our name as Christian is also a profession of faith, that we believe that this Jesus is the one who is going to lead us on our journey to life and life to the full. So let's offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the church. We pray for all those who are called Christian today. That all the members of the body of Christ may be blessed on their journeys. We especially pray for Deborah Schaff, for whom this Mass is offered, as she begins her pilgrimage journey on the way of St. James. God may be with her and bless her. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear we pray for all those who bear the brunt of prejudice, racism, people who are rejected simply because of who they are or what they look like. That God may bring people together into the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those in the midst of war and conflict, especially the people of Ukraine, people of Sudan, that leaders may work together for peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for all those who are sick. We pray for David White, Jerry's son. We pray for Kathy. Pray for all those we know, our loved ones, our families, who need God's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those whose pilgrimage of life has ended, that God may lead them into the fullness of light, happiness, and peace. We pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers that we hold in our hearts, let's pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, you are always with us on the way. We ask you to accept these prayers and all the prayers of our hearts through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes, Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, 
so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together to everlasting life. So for the reception of communion, I will bring communion to those of you who are kind of on the sides, and then I'll invite you folks in the center to come up. If you'd rather not receive, you can just cross your arms over your chest, and I'll pray a, a blessing.
Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. So before we bless um, some things that Deborah is going to bring with her and to bless Deborah again, just uh, announcements. As the weather permits, we will be outside. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be very good this week, but we'll, we'll have to play it by, by ear. It's this time of year, yet we're also have, we also have to be weather, weather people. Um, so anyway. Um, Deborah has some medals that she's going to um, give to people as she walks her pilgrimage and some rosaries. Um, she also has some stones that she's going to place different places along the way and some shells which are the, the sign of the pilgrim on the way of St. James, the pilgrim on the Camino de Santiago. So we'll bless them. May God bless these medals and these rosaries, these shells, all of these tokens who will go with Deborah on her way, on her pilgrimage. May they be signs of God's mercy to all those she meets. May they be signs of God's love that goes with her every step of the journey. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And we blessed Deborah before, but we're going to bless her again. We're going to ask her to come up. And those of you who are friends or have been part of this preparation, if you want to come up and stand with her. Okay. Um, Feel free to just come up and just, you know, just stand next to her, place, a, place an arm on her and shoulder. And take a couple of pictures, I really appreciate that. So if you, uh, if you want to come up and So feel free to reach out a hand and place it on her shoulder. There's no escape. Yeah, seriously, Kate, I need one. Because, you know, I'm going to do something with these pictures. Do you want to be included? <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. So let us pray for Deborah. And for all of us who are all on a pilgrim journey, but especially for Deborah as she walks the Camino. Yeah, come on, Tom. You're part of this too. Yeah, right here, right here, right next door. Good, very good. Let us pray. O oh God, who brought your servant Abraham out of the land of the Chaldeans protecting him in his wanderings, who guided the Hebrew people across the desert. We ask that you watch over Deborah, your servant, as she walks in the love of your name to the shrine of St. James, Santiago de Compostela. As just as Jesus walked with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus, we ask Jesus to walk with her, to accompany her, to guide her, and to fill her heart with peace. O God, be for Deborah a companion on the walk, a guide at the crossroads, breath in her weariness, protection in danger, home along the way, shade in the heat, light in the darkness, consolation in discouragement, and strength in her intention. With your guidance, may she arrive safe and sound at the end of her journey and enriched with grace and virtue 
May she return safely home, filled with joy. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. James, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. And may God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.